guys thanks for stopping by I am the unfrumpy mommy and today I'm coming to you to share my tips on passing AFA's group exercise instructor certification exam So yes, I am now a former teacher turned author turned stay at home homeschooling mom turned fitness instructor. So it's been a wonderful process, but I must say that as I was initially going through the process, I had a little difficulty in finding any information on how to become a fitness instructor here on YouTube. So I decided that once I successfully passed um, AFA's group instructor certification exam that I would come back and share um, my thoughts and tips and information and knowledge that I gained on the process here with you guys. So now I must admit that this video isn't going to be for everyone. If you are not interested in becoming a group uh, fitness instructor or fitness instructor in general or personal trainer or anything to do with the fitness world, then this video may not be for you. But I do hope you um, follow along and watch it because maybe, you know, down the road you may want to enter this particular field. Um, as you know, like I stated earlier, I was originally an elementary school teacher, but as I got older, I really got into fitness and now I am a fitness instructor, so who knows? So let's get started with my very first tip. So tip number one, please purchase your study materials. When you register for, um, your certification despite whatever area you're going to go into um, once you register there are some things that are included in the price um, let's see and I'm gonna be looking down a lot I'm outside it's such a beautiful fall day I decided to come out and film outside so please bear with me so when I registered to take my uh, group fitness certification exam the study guide was actually included in the price however there was some additional supplemental um, materials that they suggested you purchase, one being your book and the other being uh, the practice test. So I highly suggest um, purchasing the extra materials. They were really beneficial and I'll talk about those um, a little bit later. So for now, let's move on to tip number two. registering for my group certification exam I saw that there was a class that was offered for individuals who were not currently uh, teaching an exercise class this uh, the name of that class was um, group exercise the practical way group exercise the practical way and this is a class or a workshop that was offered the day before certification it's for individuals who are just now entering the world of um, becoming a fitness professional and it just gives you tips and beneficial information for you as you're going into your career but also um, we were also given a lot of information that actually helped believe it or not with the test that we were going to take the following day so again it's group exercise the practical way and it is offered the day before you take your certification exam also um, apex is coming up in February this is now November it's coming up in February and then it's offered again in September and du and during apex AFA and that is aerobics and fitness association of America offers these certification classes at discounted prices you're able to take the classes or certifications for $99 typically they run um, $239 and upwards of that so if you can get in during apex weekend i highly suggest Sorry doing guys, that so i have to put my sunglasses on because i'm squinting and i don't want to do that throughout the entire video it's pretty bright outside today so my second tip is to be aware of what is going to be on the test know what is going to be asked of you and be prepared so again there wasn't a whole lot on youtube letting me know what i needed to prepare for i will say though there are some great blogs out there where you can find information on the certification process but um if you're like me you want to be overly prepared and having some things here on youtube in video form um, i felt would have been, been would have been beneficial as well so 
again I wanted to come and share all right so I'm gonna be looking down looking at my notes here so what's on the test the, the test is comprised of two major components and there are some little gnats out here driving me crazy <laughs> So the test is gonna be comprised of two major components. You're gonna have a written part and then a practical part. The written part will be made up of 100 multiple choice questions and you have to make at least an 80% on the test to receive a passing score. The second part of the test is all practical. The practical um, portion of the test will involve you. One portion of the practical exam is going to involve you coming up with a short seven to eight routine. The routine will be broken up into three parts. You'll have a warm up that you'll have to demonstrate. You'll have to show your actual cardio body of work that you're going to do. You're pretending as if you're teaching a class. And then the last part will include um, a cool down. Again, you will be responsible for coming up with all coming up with all these movements. So your warm up will be roughly three minutes. All right. You know, if you've attended a fitness class, that you don't just start your routine just um, at a real high intensity level. You want to gradually build up. So that would be your warm up. And again, that should be for three minutes. Your cardio or higher intensity portion of your routine will last roughly four minutes. And then here again, you don't want to just jump in at a higher intensity. Once you start your cardio portion, you need to build up gradually. They don't want you to start out your cardio portion with jumping jacks or immediate, or immediate high intensity um, routines or exercises. And then finally, the last part will be your cool down. And for your cool down, you know, you're just gonna kind of jog it out or walk it out, bringing your heart rate back down. So that's, the, uh, that's one portion of the practical exam. Um, the second part of the practicals, practical exam that you will be responsible for is going to be, you're gonna be um, given 10 different muscle groups and you're going to have to demonstrate two exercises and one stretch for each one of those um, muscle groups. So say for example, you were given the pecs and you will be given the pecs as a muscle group to work. You have to show your instructor two exercises for your pecs. I did push-ups and a chest press. You will not have any equipment, so whatever exercises you do, you're going to have to demonstrate using um, working against gravity. All right, you want to breathe and completely uh, go through the movements just as if you had um, equipment, if your particular exercise that you were demonstrating needed uh, equipment. So after you've done your two exercises, you did then need to demonstrate a um, stretch. So you know for the um, pecs, I'm sure most of you know that for the pecs, you can just you know take your hands, place them behind your heads, and you know stretch that chest. So that's an example of what you're um, of another area that you will be responsible for on the practical area of the certification exam. And again, you will be given. <laughs> see that beat all right so again you will be given 10 different exercises uh, 10 different muscle groups to work and you must demonstrate two different exercises plus a stretch for each and I hope that lastly clear. you will have to demonstrate in the practical area one um, cardio movement one flexibility or one exercise um, to demonstrate this particular part of the practical exam will be done by yourself everything else was done in a group when you do your um, routine with the warm-up the actual cardio and the cool down you're gonna do that in a group it's gonna be chaotic just know your routine practice it and you'll be fine the um, one where you demonstrate your um, the different muscle groups that will also be done as a group again it will be kind of chaotic but come in beforehand knowing exactly what you're going to do and you will be fine this last portion of the test where you demonstrate your cardio a simple cardio routine and this portion of the test only lasts two minutes so it's going to go really fast one to two minutes actually you're going to demonstrate either a cardio routine an exercise or a flexibility movement i chose to do a squat here you need to demonstrate three modifications of whatever you chose to do. If you're doing like I did a squat, you need to show 
um, an easy version, working your way up to a little bit more difficult, and then your hardest, okay? So three levels for that particular exercise that you decide to choose. And again, I hope this was clear. If you have any questions about this particular um, portion of the certification exam, please leave your comments below. So if I could for a minute, go back and revisit the written portion of the exam that you're gonna be responsible for. Again, remember, you will have 100 questions. They are multiple choice. Uh, however, you must make at least an 80% to um, have a successful passing score. All right, so on the written test, I say that if I could give another tip, please read your book. Oh yeah, please read as much of the book as you can and do, 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 by all means possible, complete the study guide in its entirety. This will help you out tremendously. If you can't read the entire book, complete the study guide using your book and you will be fine on this test, all right? As you go through your uh, studying process for the written portion of the exam, I say in order to make the studying not so boring, because it can get boring after a while, come up with creative, fun ways to make learning the material really beneficial and, um, I don't know, worthwhile to you. So, being a former educator, especially an elementary school teacher, really helped me out in studying. I came up with fun ways to make the studying not so, I don't know, not so boring. So one tip that I have for you is when you get to the anatomy or the uh, muscular skeletal portion of your studying, go ahead and make copies of your muscle man. I hope you can see that. That's what I did here and I wrote all the little names of the, the muscle groups and I kind of made like a puzzle with it because you will need to know this in depth. I think they're gonna be about 10 to 20 questions just on the muscle group and I'm not sure if you were able to see my muscle man that I showed you a little while ago through the Ziploc bag and that's how I was able to keep up with it and again travel and study on the go. So here he is. This is the um, anterior view of your muscle man. You will be responsible for the anterior meaning front and posterior meaning back portion of the body and you see the different muscle groups here. You will need to know those. So what I did was made two copies and I blacked those out and then I have the names on these little strips here and then I just played a game just filling it in and I'm gonna tell you if you do this you will ace this portion of the exam because it was exactly the way it is here so again another beneficial tip I think it really helped me out um, so again this was the written portion also you want to have with you just one second all right one other tip that I have really quickly is I made little flashcards. These will be really helpful helpful to you as you're, um, you know, running to the store, if you're sitting in the doctor's office. Having little flashcards handy mean that you can study on the go. So on these flashcards, I put all of my muscle groups, and I hope that you can see that, and then I put sample exercises that I can do, could do, and I also put the stretch. So when it came time on the practical portion of the exam for me to do this, I had all 10 muscle groups, uh oh, I had all 10 muscle groups here on my flashcards and I was ready. You don't want to get to certification day and then start thinking about, oh, well, how can I work my um, quadriceps? You know, I already have an idea of what it is you want to do and things will go really, really smoothly for you. So that's another you tip. want to have with you when you arrive at certification, a current and up-to-date CPR and AED card. This means that you have successfully completed a CPR and AED class. Now, you will be able to complete your certification, the day of certification, without having the card in hand. However, it really does go ahead and cross things off if you already have it because they put it in the system and then you can get your scores. You will not be able to receive your scores without one of these cards being on file. So what I did was weeks before maybe even a month before i knew that i was scheduled to take my exam i went ahead and i took the class and passed it they gave me my card and i was able to show up for certificate certification and have this already on file and i think that is it guys i hope this was helpful i know i've i kind of rushed through even though this is a long video i feel like i rushed through because these gnats out here are driving me crazy and you saw I almost was attacked by that wasp <laughs> but um it's a really good 
um, journey that I think I am on now. Um, I love being a fitness instructor. I love working out and I love um, helping other people on their journey to becoming more fit. I have another certification that I am going to be taking here in a little bit, actually in January, and it is the Celine Johnson Turbo Kick certification. I love taking um, the Turbo uh, Kick classes when I go to the gym. Actually at home, I do her at home program, and this one's Turbo Fire, and it's really good as well if you can't make it to the gym to pop one of the DVDs and you have a whole book of DVDs. And it is a really, really good, high intensity cardio workout. You can burn something like eight, 900 calories and up depending on how much intensity you actually put into the workout. So I am going to go and get certified um, in Turbo Kick in January. So right now I am just uh, working out as much as I can, making sure I'm eating right so that when I get there, I don't, um, get sick because it again it is a really 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 high intense workout um, I forgot to mention that certification day for your group exercise um, certification is all day it is roughly nine to five it is like a job you're there all day and you're working out all day and you're really really learning some really beneficial information that you can use and take with you as you begin your um, fitness journey or your journey into um, becoming a certified fitness instructor so that is it i really appreciate you guys sticking with me throughout this video i know it is long and it's probably boring to some of you but i really appreciate it for those of you who have been with me on my channel and i know it's still a small channel but for those of you who've been with me since the beginning you know that i i used to make a videos a little bit more regularly but I've been away and this is what I've been doing working on my new career as a fitness instructor and also uh, moving again we're still moving and getting things situated so I, that's part of the reason I wanted to come outside today to just get a break from all the chaos in the house so with that said that is it guys and so until next time don't be a frumpy mommy or for all of you dads out there that may be watching don't be a frumpy dad bye guys